Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to Lunch Break with Shell. My name is Shell Anderson and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator located in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. I do short Lunch Break with Shell videos on Tuesday and Thursdays at noon Central Standard Time. And I also do Facebook Lives on Wednesday nights at 6.30. Today we are going to be having a play with the Cottage Rose Suite. Um, that's in the new catalog and we are going to be using the color palette of mossy meadow Sahara sand and petal pink and we are going to be doing some water coloring I also have a couple of ribbons here that I may or may not be using we'll be finding that out as we go along my card base today is mossy meadow and I am going to put a couple of layers on the inside today. I thought this was just a little blob. Well, you know, it's not too, too bad. I think I might just do that. I'm just going to put the um, one color on the inside so that we have a nice place to write our greeting. We're just going to match our borders as best we can. And then on the outside, I have petal pink and a piece of the DSP. I thought that was kind of cool. So I'm just going to layer those together. And then I am going to put this onto the front of the card. So I'm just going to center this, trying to get um, the same borders top and bottom basically is what I'm aiming for not doing a real fantastic job but I'm trying and I see that this piece is just a smidge longer so we will take care of that chop chop and now this one is going to be glued on here just to give us an interesting, I guess I should do it right side up, give us an interesting backdrop for our cottage rows. And I'm just going to pop that right on there like so. All right, now we'll set that aside for a minute. I have been working on this. This is actually a piece of DSP. I wanted to try this to see if it would work and it will if you do it correctly. I first started doing it with uh, my blends and it was awful. To be honest, it was just awful. I didn't like it at all. So then I decided that I would squeeze the ink pad and see if I could color with ink and a blender pen. And I don't know if I'm going to like this one, but we're going to give it a try. I wanted to have some different colored roses. The, 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 thing to do in this is to do it very very slowly like just do very very small sections at a time because this paper is not watercolor paper but it will work if you go very very you like you don't push hard and you just do petal by petal Now, I need to get this color on here a little better than this. There we go. I had to give it a good squeeze. So just do petal by petal, and you'll be okay. And leave some white space is another good tip. You don't want it all solid. You want variations of color. Because I'll be honest, I hated my flowers until they dried. 
and the reason that I did some ahead because you know me I don't care if I mess up in front of you like we learn together but um, I what I thought it was weight because it's t it's very time consuming this this technique um, I thoroughly enjoy watercoloring but um, I've never watercolored on designer series paper before so um, because it's so time consuming I wanted to make sure that I got some of it done before the video or we would be into supper let alone lunch <laughs> and I'm just picking up little bits of ink and rapidly spreading each petal I got that one a little dark. All right. Not real fond of it, but we'll wait till it dries and I promise you it will look better when it dries. I don't know about you folks, but I really, really enjoy coloring. I love coloring with my blends the best, but uh, I find it very, very relaxing. And I like, actually the way this is turning out, the, the flowers are seemingly quite variegated because of the, the paper. Which is really weird. I got that petal a little dark, but hopefully, maybe I'll flip to the other end and see if I can lift some. I think I'm just going to make it worse by doing that. And I put a little bit of this color, just watered down of this color, in the middle of these other flowers just to bring it all together and I might take my petal pink marker and just touch it in the very center of those two all right I'm happy with that let me get the cover on my pen and we will bring our card back in now, how I'm going to place this, I'm not sure. I think maybe something like that so I can put a greeting here. Let's bring in the stamp set. I think I'm going to use this little one. It says, feel better real soon. It's not real big greeting. It will just fit in there nicely. I'm going to stamp it right on there, if you can believe it. So I best get my stamp apparatus, or I will be making a mess. All right, first things first, let's flip this card open. 
And then we're going to get it in place. And I want a piece of acetate. There it is right there. We're going to pop this in here for a minute. We're just going to mock this all up. Okay, let's get this in place here. Actually, I think I might go like that and put it up here. Yep, yep, that's what I'll do. All right, I am going to stamp on the acetate with what color? Sahara sand is going to be too light. Crumb cake. I don't think I want. Let's go soft suede. Let's give it a whirl. Hopefully this will be straight. Look at that. Bang on. So we're just going to remove this. <gasps> Let me see. Hopefully it's going to be bang on again. I moved it. Cross your fingers. Huh, it actually looks uh, very dark. It turned out darker than I anticipated it would. But that's okay. I'm alright with that. Let's get this out of the way. Bring our flowers back in. And some ribbon. What are we going to do? I've got some I've got some like a natural ribbon with some gold in it. I don't think I like that. I don't know if we're going to need it. Let's see what happens. I am going to get some dimensionals. And we are going to just pepper the back of this with dimensionals. Because this is going to need to be well supported. Because it's just a designer series paper. I just wanted to try it, so I did. There we go. Now let me get a tool here to get all those backs off. around pop that into place Isn't that pretty all right let's grab some gems of some sort here what are we gonna do I bet you the champagne ones would look nice on here Yeah, look at them take on that pinky texture. Or pinky color. Um, let me use this. Aren't those pretty? I think I'm going to go with five today. Because I can. Look at that. 
Now, if I were to grab my Wink of Stella, not that one, and give these a little wink, a sparkle. This one's pretty near empty. Let's see if I can get a little bit more. Oh, I see some more coming. I'm always paranoid. I dropped this on a card one time and it just was a big blob. So I was, I'm always paranoid that I'm going to get a big blob. There we go. We'll just pick it up and spread it around. I know it's hard for you to see the sparkle, but once I'm done here, I'll bring it up. And it's actually blending the colors a little bit too. bit more up here and then we will be done sparkle 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 not pretty I love those champagne rhinestones on there so that my friends is our card for today using the cottage rose bundle i hope you enjoyed this little video and i hope to see you back here tuesdays and thursdays at noon central standard time that's it for today bye bye